Welcome. What you're about to watch is me live planning my week in things three. So I'm going to talk about how I use my tags, how I use the upcoming view in things three to just make sure I am not overloading myself because that's probably my biggest issue and everyone's biggest issue with tasks is overloading yourself each day. This is actually from my course, Staying Organized with Things 3. If you want to take the course because you like the lesson, look below. There are links to membership where you get all my courses included, or you can take it on Skillshare. Curtis, well, I don't know what I was going to say for you all there. Skillshare, there's links below. Have an awesome day. In this lesson, we're going to look at how I use Things 3 to plan my week. Uh, so now one of the first things you need to do is to review your tasks to make sure you get a handle on them. I start with my today view. So I look through here and see what hasn't been done. I usually do this on a Friday. Right now it's a Monday because it's a holiday. But I will actually look through and see here, what didn't I do last week? What didn't I do in the last week that needs to be adjusted, right? So uh, CPT template for Calosha. That's one of my clients, a programming client, and their email updates. So one of the big things in here is that I need to remember that some things shouldn't actually be in here at all. Um, or I might not do them. So the email updates, that's actually done. I can resolve that. I don't need to worry about that. But then I get to something like this bright mode WordPress theme. I don't actually need this as a task because I'm not going to do it as a task. What the best place to put this is, if I bring my notes from my other screen over, is I'm actually going to create a new note. I'll grab it on this side. This is Obsidian, if you're wondering. I'm going to say WordPress themes. So this is going to be uh, for my site. Just themes I want to keep track of. So bright mode is one of them. So now I don't actually need to keep this as a task because it's not really a task. It's not something I'm going to do this week. It's just when I have an opportunity to look for a new theme, I will look for it uh, again. Let's get my notes back out of the way. So that's one of the things that I'll do as I go through my today list uh, or actually through all of my tasks. Another one is, did I hear back from Sag? That's something I need to keep up. This is my accounting. I need to make sure I get that. Um, Denis Sol Sol Solodikov, am I going to do that? So that's actually not going to be this week at all. That's going to be like a Friday task um, because I should be done this course by then so I can actually focus on getting that done. So these things do still need to get done, though. I need to record the final lessons, which I'm actually doing right now. Uh, I do need to build the CPT template for Kalosha. And I do need to check in with SAG accounting. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to check my inbox. Is there anything in here? Nope. I don't need to worry about the sarsync command. This is literally, I'm just migrating some hard drives. This will be done really quick. So I can leave that in my inbox for now. And I will just deal with it when I am get there. I'm only keeping track of this uh, command. So because I have one hard drive that's dying. And so it keeps dropping off. And I need to keep running the command over and over. So the next thing is I'm going to check my this week tag to see if there's anything else that was in this week that I didn't actually get to. So some navbar links aren't working. I didn't get to that because it couldn't really get got to. So we have a bug on one of the sites where some links just stop working. But it didn't come up this week. I couldn't investigate it because I didn't see the problem and I can't reproduce it. So I have just left this. This will stay in this week because it's something I need to keep track of. Uh, in this case, I'm actually going to give it a date just so that it's on my today view all the time. I'll give it a Tuesday so that I know that it's there. Now I'd also look at my next week tag. Is there anything from next week? Yes, so there's a bunch here and I will go back to those, look at all of those and I will hit uh, shift command T and I will go add next week or add this week. Uh, and I'll hit shift command T again. Unfortunately, I got to do this twice and take off the next week tag. So I've just taken everything from next week, uh, which I had planned to do and moved into this week because I'm actually planning this week now. The other ones I would also do is I would look at this month. Look at this month. Is there anything else? Do a video set up with Obsidian. Not going to do that this next week. So let's actually put that in my next week tag. Again, unfortunately, I have to do this twice because that's how this month. So I'm going to take it out of this month for now. So this should be a next week tag. So now I can actually go through all of my projects now that I have some of these things, right? I'm my inbox, three things in upcoming because I need to do those this week for sure. Uh, and I should make sure I add the this week tag to this this week so that I get planned this week and this week, just so I make sure that they're on the schedule. Now I'd actually just look through the different projects to see if there's anything else, right? Well, this is already tagged this week. I don't need to worry about that. These two things are done. We'll kill those. I don't need them anymore. And I can even delete this heading. I don't need that. We did the Bluehost ones. I don't need to do that. So I just need to look at these two things. And they're already labeled as this week, so I will deal with them when they come up. Quick menu. 
allow, yep, so that's the next feature I'm going to do. That's fine. I go over the issues. That's probably going to be a next month one. So let's add the next month tag to it now. Anything else? I have two next, I have a next week, end of this week, do video setup of Obsidian. So I need to show them how to set it up for internal documentation. Some nav bar links aren't working. I want to keep that up. And the rest of these things, I don't need to worry about. So this is an iPad test list. Again, we'll just delete this. I don't even need it. And also there's another test project. Delete that project. What else is in here? Template. It's already labeled. Great. Check this area. Admin. Check in with Robin. Has a date on it. Won't worry about it. Things three course. Record final lessons. So I'm also going to add a tag to this. Uh, edit final lessons is going to be this week. Get thumbnails for all lessons. Uh, maybe this week. We'll see. I usually would do Friday for this. I'm going to be able to publish on Skillshare. Now, this is where I have to start deciding, will I have time on Friday to publish on Skillshare or not? Uh, I don't know. So I'm going to leave this as a next week, next week, next week, next week, next week. So this is, again, to finish off this course, I have a bunch of tags, right? This week, this week, this week, and then I'm not sure. Um, but if I have time on Friday, if I edit all the lessons this week, well, because I'll probably edit a lesson or two every morning before I start work, um, then I will have time to edit and move on to these next ones. So I'll just probably work through this project on Friday and get as far as I can on Friday. To my YouTube course, that's another one. This one's actually done. Is it? Not really. Uh, ask Bill share about monetization video. I need to check on that. Uh, that's an email I need to follow up with on Skillshare, and I actually really need to let members know. So let's schedule that for Friday. Let members know about YouTube course, and let's add a tag to it it's this week. So I'll send that out with my Friday email, 2021 accounting, did I hear back? That's it, and then my daughter's room, new task. There's nothing really to do in that right now. I usually just reserve this for, again, hardware things. I'm going to go purchase for her room, not necessarily the exact task I'm going to do that day. Remember, you can also keep them our tasks in areas. So I need to check all my areas as well. Any other client ones? Nope. Any other admin ones? Nope. Business? Nope. A recurring task? That's fine. Personal. So now they've got everything reviewed, I can open up a new window. And I can do that by hitting uh, Control Command N. It'll open up a new window. Now this window specifically I want to be, I'll move them here. And I want a better view on this. Okay, so this one over here I'm gonna make this week. And this one over here I'm gonna to go to my upcoming view. So now I have an idea of kind of what's upcoming. And I, because I have the screen real estate, I'll even make this taller so I can see more. Right, so tomorrow, it's Tuesday, and what do I want to do? So I need to check this on Tuesday. I need to check this on Tuesday as well. Those are two things I need to actually do tomorrow. Um, and say, and I know that the navbar links are just something I can review as I go. Wednesday, so what else do we have? A lot of two levels of nesting. So I know Wednesday I have no meetings, lots of time. So I can see that here, right? I have a 9.30 meeting. That actually makes my day a little harder to get done sometimes because I have a 9.30 meeting. And there's even uh, a release tomorrow, although I think I'll push that off and won't do a release until I get um, the two levels of nesting done. So I won't worry about that. Thursday, you know what else do I have, right? So I can see dates here. Wednesday, Tuesday, I can actually see when things are on there. Did I hear back about the long subscription message options? So this is from a client. I'm actually going to follow that up on Friday uh, and Friday. Proud CPT template for Kalosha. So that, honestly, I really can't do it this week. Looking at it, I usually work on these type of things on Monday. So I'm going to look at this task and I'm going to change my tag to next week. And I'm going to hit tag again, take off this week. There we go, record final lessons. So I'm recording today. That's already in there. Edit final lessons. I'll do that over the week. Get thumbnails for all lessons. So let's just put a date on this record. Edit final lessons. Let's put it in Tuesday. And this means it shows up in my today view all the time. And get thumbnails. That'll probably be a Friday task. 
YouTube course. That's a Friday already, and did I hear back from Sag? That is going to be a tomorrow task. In fact, this is probably going to be a today task. Is it on today? It's already on today. So I know I need to follow up. That's ah, a holiday, so I'll actually do it for tomorrow. I need to follow up with my accountant to make sure that I have my taxes coming through. And that's really all I do to review the tasks. One of the biggest things that I think you need to do as you review tasks is eliminate things. So you saw I eliminated and took that bright mode theme from my WordPress site and put it off to a note because it's not really a task. I'm not going to look at a new WordPress theme. When it comes time to really look at a new WordPress theme, I'll start a project for that and I will look at the bright mode theme as part of that. I will not worry about it until that point. I think one of the biggest failings is people do not delete tasks. They do not take things away. They just think they're going to always do everything and then they never get anything. And they feel guilty because they have a huge backlog of things they need to do.